Who's doing the sea, Wanda? Wanda. Uh, I, I can explain. The MCU is finally back after much too long of a hiatus. I've really missed it, to be honest. But the first two episodes of WandaVision dropped. I have to say, I really enjoyed them. And if you guys haven't seen them already, definitely go check them out. Because there will be minor spoilers in this video for the first two episodes of WandaVision. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into this mock. At the end of the second episode, we see Wanda using her magic to basically add color to the world that she finds herself in, and I thought this was a really cool scene, it gave me chills to be honest, and the two episodes were really good, but this was the only scene that could translate well into a mock, and so that's what I'm showing you guys today. You can see that the first half of the mock has color, but then the second half is based on grays, dark grays, blacks, whites, you know, it's a black and white show for the first two episodes, and so you can see the color slowly transforming the entirety of the mock and then as an extra touch I added red tiles plates that kind of thing to represent Wanda's magic it is on the barrier of the black and white portion and then the colored portion I created two different custom minifigures we have Wanda and Vision the two protagonists of the show I wish it was more accurate but I wanted to keep the minifigures a purist so we're working with what I've got if we take the two minifigures off and take a close look at the build, you can see what probably catches your eye is the couch, and that was probably what I had the most fun doing. In the show, the couch has a floral pattern, and even though I had to minimize the pattern on this one, I did use dark tan uh, one by one plates and tiles to give it a little bit of a design. And you can see halfway through the couch, it turns into a black and white couch. It's a very cool build. I really enjoyed designing it. In their home, there are two identical lamp stands with different items on top of them. And so one of them is built in color and then the other one is built in black and white. It was really fun to design these. It's a simplistic sort of style, but I really enjoyed designing it. The lamp is probably my favorite part. It is a goblet placed upside down and then you have a 2x2 two two cylinder piece to represent the lamp shade. Removing the colored lamp stand you can see the entryway to their house and for this I'm using a pretty interesting snot technique to give it some extra texturing make it more complex because I didn't want to just use a door piece that would be the lazy way out. And then turning to the right, you see some window drapes and a portrait. The first half are dark red, and then you can see the black and white portion of it is dark gray. The window in the center is just white. If we keep moving, you can see a gray bookshelf with a black and white record player, and then some stuff on the wall just to add some texturing. I did add uh, masonry bricks throughout the wall portion just to give it a little more texturing and something extra to look at. The entire mock is a vignette style, similar to what I did in my last mock, the Mandalorian mock. If you haven't check that out go to the art card above and it'll take you to the video i really enjoyed building that mock and then the final thing i want to touch on is the brown uh wooden beams that i have set up and you can see that it switches to a light gray halfway through the mock in the tv show you can kind of see it but i took some creative liberties just to make it more sturdy i think it really adds something special to the mock and almost makes it look more like a set which is kind of the feel that i wanted to go for Overall, I really enjoyed building this mock. It's a pretty small one, but I wanted to get it out really quickly so that you guys could enjoy it while enjoying WandaVision. If you haven't watched the show, definitely go give it a try. It's very different than what the MCU is normally pushing out, but to me, that just makes it even better. If you enjoyed this mock, leave a like and comment down below sharing your thoughts and what you think of the show. If you're new around here, hit subscribe. Gonna be trying to post more consistently. I know I had quite the hiatus, but we're back in action. Until next time, bye. Oh, Aaron. Mwah. 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 Uh, I can explain why Aaron's so hot. <laughs> <laughs>